Hello everyone, in this video we will be learning about the chatbots. So chatbots are basically chatting robots which are very popular nowadays and are frequently used in almost all mediums of social and business interaction. So uh, initially I will be discussing some very uh, basic elements of chatbots and then I will walk through how to actually develop a real chatbot and how we can deploy our chatbot in the platform like Twitter, a Messenger or a website. So why we talk of chatbots and how they are helping us. So chatbot is basically a kind of reception desk that we see in the organization that handles all the user queries. It is basically uh, uh, used for streamlining the interaction between the people and service that enhance the customer experience. So chatbots are basically the AI software that can simulate a conversation with the user in a natural languages through a messaging applications, websites, mobile application or through the telephone. So you can see in this graph that in 2018 they are gaining much popularity because of the uh, dramatic advancements in machine learning and the under, other underlying technologies like uh, uh, natural language processing, deep learning. So you can see that the different areas where chatbots are find very very much useful. In our example we are going to make a very simple chatbot or a very simple bot that can be help to uh, get a recommendation for gift means by using our chatbot it will guide us that what kind of gift is suitable for different occasion so how you can start developing a chatbot for that we for this we need to have an account in the IBM cloud so the IBM provides uh, facility to use all the resources we have many resources available here that you can use uh, on freely so we have two kind of accounts here with the light account this is of no cost and we can use the limited uh, features of the of the of the resources and for our purpose these resources are actually sufficient there are three key elements of chatbots and dense entities and dialogue so first we have to understand what are these three key terms and then we will start developing our chatbot. The first comes is the intents. So intents is basically if the intention of the user. So it helps us to identify the intention or the goal or the purpose of the user. What does it mean? Uh, if the user says uh, about, uh, if the user makes a query like do you deliver? Do you deliver in weekends? How much time you take the delivers? Are the delivery free? Where do you deliver? So these all queries are basically focusing on the information regarding the delivery that how the company uh, provides delivery services. So we need to identify all the queries which actually reflects the intention of the user. So the more you are able to identify the query it will help us to train our bot in a better way. Bots are basically using the AI where they keep on learning. So there is very much useful. The more data you provide, they will get more smarter. And, and the training is said to be a kind of a good training for them. So we need to identify all the kind of relevant intents. And then we can write these intents at the time of developing a chatbot. Or it's always suggested that first you identify what are the different possible queries a person can raise for a particular purpose and we note down in one excel file we can make a .csv file this can be easily imported to our bot while created so if you want to uh, prepare our, your intent uh, document you need to follow a format uh, there will be two columns the question uh, column number one is referring to the question and column number two is referring to the corresponding intent for example when I say do you deliver this is a question and this this the intent refers to this query uh, to this query is delivery information so the second is in entities entities again help us to uh, identify more closely the user intention so that we can uh, and so, so that our chatbot or the bot can handle and handle the query accurately and provide the correct answers so here entities are basically identifying the context of the user query 
let's say the user says I want to present a gift so we understood the intention is that he is searching for the gift but now we have to identify the context that he want to get a gift for what occasion it he may ask the gift for the marriage for the birthday or he want to present the gift for his wife to his wife to his mother or for any occasion so first we need to identify in a broader way what is its intention and then we will move to the closer context so that we can provide the proper answer to him similarly like the entities we can store the uh, like our intents we can store the entities in the csv file so here first column refers to the entity and second refers to the corresponding value and it is always good to provide synonyms so that it will be easy for the bot to understand or to relate the query for example a person may ask i want to gift something to my mom so mom is the value and you can also write synonyms mother similarly if there is one value called retirement then you can make it for farewell you can um, write for see off so it, it depends means you have to identify what are the synonym uh, or the similar words can be used for a for a particular case now for example here the entity may be the occasions so occasion may be birthday so it is occasion value is birthday and it is occasion value is marriage and it is occasion the value is uh, retirement or a farewell so likewise we have to uh, identify the corresponding entities the values and synonym and then we can prepare a csv file then comes a dialog dialog basically provides a uh, flow of converse, conversation in the form of logical tree dialogue basically provides the conversation so far we have seen the intents and entity which help us which help the bot to understand the user purpose and through the dialogue the chat is actually responding to the all the queries so uh, basically with the help of dialogue we are making a dialogue tree that help to uh, uh, reply to the user based on the queries so as a whole we need to do these uh, simple steps to get our uh, bot ready so first we have to start the tool we have to open the tool by after registering in the ibm cloud then we have to create a skill then we have to add the entrance entities dialog once you are ready with your skills a skill is basically you are training uh, your bot to have a particular capability to handle a kind of queries for example in our case we are training our bot to handle all the gift recommendation kind of queries so once your bot is ready or developed this kind of skill we will be giving the shape and then we create an assistant so assistant we can create by adding the skills to this particular assistant and once your assistant is ready now you can integrate this assistant to any of the platform so here we will be we will uh, we'll look at how to deploy our product to any website so basically it is suggestible to use wordpress wordpress is actually the most commonly used platform for our website development so here we will see that how this uh, this particular uh, this uh, our product can be easily deployed there so let's create a simple chatbot